Welcome to another episode of IHNA and IHM Career Australia. I'm Vinesh Palan. Today we are here to discuss uh, uh, the reality of job search. You know the struggles that uh, you know you you have during a job search. You know when you migrate, uh, when you plan to migrate to Australia, everyone picture, uh, everyone paints this rosy picture as in you know you're moving to Australia. It's a wonderful country. It's a land of opportunities, and everyone thinks it's a fun experience. But in reality, it is not. It is not a fun experience. If you're lucky, sometimes yes, but otherwise, people struggle here to get a job. Be it international students or experienced professionals, doesn't matter how experienced you are, people struggle to find that first job or that first uh, step into the market. It's hard over here. And uh, most of these struggles come out because we are not prepared to, you know, we are not really prepared to handle the job market over here. Now, uh, let, let me give a typical picture of what people think, you know, before migrating. So what happens, uh, you know, you decide to migrate, uh, you take a PR and then you think, okay, your, your ultimate, not ultimate, your first objective is to get a job. So you think, yes, uh, you can, it could be, you know, two, two to three months, you make a financial backup of two to three months and uh, you believe that if you just roll over these two to three months, you'll get a job. No, that's not true. So what does a typical job seeker do? Or what is your job search strategy? Uh, uh, this is what I hear from a lot of migrants that I talk to and this is what they reflect as well. So they you should, they rely a lot on online applications. So the a day, typical daily routine would look like getting up in the morning, looking for new op new uh, job ads in their profile, be it on Seek, be, be it on LinkedIn jobs, and then you know they tweak their resumes and apply, apply, apply. And after this, they sit there waiting for a call. Some people call recruiters and you know try to make things happen, but this is what typically happens during job search. Is this what you do as well? If this is what you do, it's probably the worst job strategy to have here in Australia. Online applications is very inefficient. Uh, I'd recommend to say, you know, it may work. You know, you might hear stories, people, you know, um, you migrate, migrate uh, and within a week or two after landing in Australia, you get a job. Yes, that, that might be one in thousands. And that's a story that haunts you. Yes, literally, that's a story that haunts you. So it's very important you uh, you have a proper job strategy, and applying online is probably the most inefficient job search strategy. Now, let me share my story as in how I struggled during my job search. I have I have over, I'm a software developer. I have over seven years experience. I was working in uh, in India in multiple companies, big companies over there, and I migrated to here thinking, you know, yes, you know, it might take two to three months, but I should eventually get the job. You know, we we are technically good. We we know we have the skills. We are qualified. So how long can it take? We we should eventually get that job, right? But is but that's not what happened. That's completely not what happened. It took me eight months to find a job. I had a PR. I had seven years of experience. I was a software developer. People think, you know, software developers can find a job easily. But it took me eight months to find work. Let me touch upon a few struggles or the typical struggles that a job seeker goes through in these times. One is, I would call it as silencing or ghosting. So what is silencing or ghosting? Let me give you a word. There, there are different types of silencing. Let me give you a worst example over here. So you saw, you see a job on, say, Seek. You apply for that. You give a call to the recruiter. The recruiter really likes you. Uh, the recruiter says, you know, they'll get in touch with you in a couple of days. So after a couple of days, they give you, give you a call back. You again have a wonderful ex uh, conversation and they invite you to come over to the office for an interview. Now you are very excited. You are you are desperately you desperately want to get into the market, and you are very excited. So you suit up, you go and talk to you go to meet that recruiter. That recruiter kind of you know blows you away, says you know your profile is excellent. Uh, you'll probably get a job tomorrow. 
blah 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 you know they they really boost your uh, uh, confidence you go back to your home you wait for a couple of days and you don't hear back from the recruiter you call them back the recruiter doesn't respond you email them they don't respond you message them they don't respond this is silencing or ghosting i would say and unfortunately this is very common and it's part of job search now i you can say that's not right Yes, it's not right, but as a job seeker, you can't change the system. Unfortunately, this is the way it is, and the best thing you can do as a job seeker is to be prepared. This is common, and you have to be prepared for it. So, what can you do to overcome this, or what? How, how do you get better at this thing? So, personally, I think you know this is my thumb rule. Once uh, you know you you attend an interview, you. have a phone conversation with the recruiter or you send an email and there's an interest from the recruiter wait for 3 to 4 days and call them back have a casual conversation ask them hey how's things going do you have any update on this role when do you think you can hear something back and say you know uh, if if there's no updates you know say you know i'll give uh, give give you a call uh, next week or whenever the recruiter says you know if the recruiter says you know i need a week's time to get back to you yes give them a week's time Now, after a week, again give a call back, have the same conversation, and once more. That's it. Call them three times, and then you're done. It's time to get over your crush. I, I, let, let me put it that way. If you hold on to your crush, you're going to be in a very bad situation. You don't have a closure. You think, okay, is that person going to call you? Is does that person like you? Or should I go and call them? Or what's happening? You know, it it creates a huge mental turmoil in you. Don't do that. you should know when to stop and my thumb rule is call them three times and if they after that if they want to they'll get back to you it is not worth stressing you or it's not worth taking that toll on your mental health when you're already so frustrated so you have to learn to give up on them the next worst thing is rejections again please understand that rejections are part of job search If you are not getting rejections and if you get a job immediately, you are extremely lucky. That's it. But everyone goes through rejections, and I'd say rejections is a good thing. Let let me explain how how this. So again, rejections. There are multiple types of rejections. Sometimes or most of the times, unfortunately, you get an automated rejection email saying, you know, blah blah blah. Unfortunately, you couldn't. You are not selected for this role. you'll get a lot of this and it's it's personally it it brings down your morale unfortunately that's the case again there's nothing you can do about it you're rejected so what is there do you have to mourn over it there is there a point in doing that is there a point in bring, pulling you down on that no another type of rejection is you actually get a good feedback saying you know uh, yes you did really good but something happened you know you went through interviews and later on either the the role was not finalized or they had got someone better or something like that but i i was talking to someone today and they said you know i failed multiple interviews in you can never fail in an interview you are always learning in an interview you are always learning on a rejection say you get a rejection you might get some feedback or you can look back say you attended an interview you did really well but you felt that something was wrong in there you know maybe you did not answer a particular question correctly fine you got rejected not just because one uh, the performance of one question no one gets rejected based on their performance for one question but what happens at the end of the day write down the questions that you had in that interview prepare on it and make sure that you'll never forget that answer so what happens when you attend 10 interviews and you fail fail in 10 interviews you become 10 times stronger than what you were were 10 interviews before so every interview and every rejection makes your skill stronger always look at it in that perspective sometimes the reasons might be silly as in you know uh we got someone who were better uh, suited than your profile or we got some we did not uh you do not have skills in this thing that's okay 
that job is, is there yes but they have to like you as well you can't decide that hey i need that job that job is for me no they have to like you as well and there are tons of factors over there it could even be a silly reason like you know uh, someone inter was internally referred maybe the boss's friend was internally referred and they got a priority even though they were te not technically as skilled they got priority over you these are all external factors and thinking over these never helps never ever helps and you cannot get an advantage over here or you cannot make things better at all so learn from every rejection learn from every failed interview and make yourself stronger it's always it's it's important that you enjoy not i i know it's hard you can't enjoy but it, you should take it in the right way every experience in the right way be it silence rejections interview failures whatever it is you might make a silly mistake but you are, you have to make yourself sure that you don't make that mistake again that's where you are becoming stronger now a common mistake that people do is they think you know they have to get a job and anything apart from getting a job offer in hand is disastrous well if you think like that your life is going to be really hard if you think you know only if i get a job later i'm successful i don't know you will get that job later only once in your life or not in your life you'll get that job later once only once and if you if you be unhappy till then that doesn't work that way every day you are something you are doing something new every day you are winning on something it could be you know you got a call from a recruiter today hey that's good how many of say there are thousands of uh, thousands competing for the role that you apply you got a call that's a win for you you talk to the recruiter yes you talk for 10 15 minutes did something happen or not that's a whole different story you talk for 10 15 minutes you're feeling good about the day celebrate that you went to meet a recruiter or you went to meet you know someone in 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 your domain or someone in your expertise you had a good coffee catch up you learned something you know do this 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 or that person asked you to get in touch with another person something like that happened that's a win for you you go out for a meet up you talk to 10 people and you build your connections you you feel better about yourself you talk to people you are feeling more confident you shared your story you have heard a lot of stories that's a huge win you're watching this video today you're you're learning a lot you're trying to motivate yourself that's a win everything is a win for you so and if you think okay this happened what what impact does it have in my life nothing i don't have an offer in hand i i doesn't pay my bills if you think like that you're not going to get anywhere it's very important that you keep your right mental state throughout the job search otherwise it can get a really rough ride don't just sit at home say watch tv and apply online and get frustrated about not uh, getting uh, uh, calls or interviews that's not the way it works there's a lot of things that you have to do to make sure that you're uh, mentally fit as well it could be anything if you love sports go and uh, play if you love fitness go for a run if you if you uh, love networking talk to people trust me networking is a huge stress reliever and it 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 has multiple advantages it's a stress reliever you feel you you feel more confident uh, you learn a lot you t- connect to people you possibly generate leads you possibly generate interviews as well so there is a lot of advantage in networking going to networking events so try that you know celebrate that small win as well so i hope you are feeling a bit better after watching this video my point is don't get hung up on what ha- what is happening don't get hung up on rejections or don't get hung up on silence have a proper path on or pr- have a have clarity on what you're going to do say next one month have a clarity on what kind of rules you are applying don't don't spread your uh, uh, focus like you know um, be, be a tester blah 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 don't focus on uh, multiple roles focus on a single role get in touch with people who work in that role or get in touch with recruiters who work in that role have if you want write down their names 
call them up, connect to them on LinkedIn, keep track. All, but doing all these and having a clarity of what you want or having a certainty on what you're going to do is very important. Again, don't think that you can wing it. Okay, tom let, let, let tomorrow come. I mean, tomorrow I'll apply a few roles. Okay, I'll try calling that person tomorrow. Let's see what happens or I'll find someone. It will happen. Don't go with that attitude. Make a plan. Job strategy is very important. Talk to people. You learn a lot of stuff when you talk to people. Uh, un learn, uh, understand their experiences, take their inputs in, improvise your strategy, build on it, and there is no guarantee that this will work. You know, if you, if you say, you know, okay, I'll do this for two weeks and then see, let's see what happens. There's no guarantee that you'll get a job in two weeks. It could take, it could still take a month or it could still take, a, take two months. There is no guarantees that you'll get a job if you do this, but the guarantee is you'll feel much better. You won't be as frustrated as you were, and you will have a focused approach on your job search. You'll, you'll, you'll I won't say enjoy, you'll feel way better doing that journey rather than just sitting at home and applying, or applying and you know figuring out what to do. And that's very important. If you ask me uh, if I would have got my job earlier than eight months if I had networked, I'd say maybe, maybe not. But one thing I'm sure of is that my mental state or the way I felt would have been way better than what I actually did. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope you had a few pointers on what to do or how to make your job search better. Remember rejections and job search is not always an uphill. You will have the downhills as well. It all depends on how you an handle those downhills. Do you take it with a pinch of salt or do you really drown in it? That is up to you. Don't do that. It's not worth it. Uh, you have to be, you, you have to always present your best self when it comes to interviews or you have to be your best version of yourself the next day. So make sure that you are full of energy. If you have any questions, please write, uh, write to us at careeraustralia at m4tv.com.au. Uh, that's all for today. Until next time, bye-bye.